If you guys need your badges maxed out fast and legit, hit up Star Grinders on Twitter or Instagram and tell them JR sent you. Their links will be in the description down below. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy JR and y'all boys know I'm back with another banger. And in this video, I have one of the best working NBA 2K21 next gen badge glitches. With this glitch, Y'all boys are going to be able to get your badges extremely fast, especially if you're looking to make a brand new player. I know a lot of you guys might still be struggling to get the new consoles because they have been hard to get. But with that being said, uh, with this badge glitch, you're able to get your badges extremely fast, especially if you're grinding on a brand new player. So yeah, man, um, I wanted to share this glitch with y'all boys. And also, I just want to thank y'all boys so much for all the support. It really means a lot. If you guys are new, make sure y'all boys drop a like. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes and also drop us up. Turn on post notifications because you guys know I'll be posting these glitches as soon as I find them. And you guys already know 2K has been patching these glitches extremely fast. So you guys definitely do not want to miss out. So yeah, man, uh, with this badge glitch, whenever you're working on a new player, this glitch is basically going to take place in high school and or college. You can actually do this glitch in any of those games. I feel like high school is probably going to be the easiest the reason why this glitch is so op is because the difficulty is so easy so even if you're at the high school part or even in college it doesn't matter it's gonna work either way but all you guys want to do is just load up the game that you're currently in and then in this game all you guys want to do is just go ahead and ball out and get as much badge progression as you possibly can now if you're doing this on a new player in my opinion it's best that you work on your shooting in this because the difficulty is so low you can use this glitch to get whatever shooting badges that you want you can go for range extender hot zone hunter or whatever the case may be but in my opinion, in Next Gen 2K, getting shooting badges is probably the hardest just because you have to hit, you know, a lot more shots. Like, it takes longer to get shooting badges than it does any other badge. And honestly, it shouldn't be like that, but that's just how it is. So, yeah, man, you guys can use this, this glitch and get your shooting badges extremely easy, easy especially with um no badges if you're doing this on a new player you're able to hit most of your shots extremely consistent just because like i said the difficulty on this is like rookie so you can shoot extremely consistent even with no badges so yeah man um and from this from this screen right here like whenever you're in this game you're still able to go into the city if you want to use your player for a part game whatever the case may be but yeah man with this glitch you're able to spam it over and over again and the thing with shooting is you guys want to shoot extremely consistent because that's going to give you the the most bad progression possible so yeah man and you guys see i was going absolutely crazy working on my new build and then um I was even able to get team takeover and whenever you do get team takeover if you're able to in this for this glitch it lasts an extremely long time so yeah man if you choose if you choose a limitless range as your first primary takeover and a shooting as your secondary or even shot creating then that's going to help you shoot even more consistent as well like i said team takeover does last an extremely long time now like i said with this glitch i feel like it's best to go for shooting just because shooting is the hardest and it's like the one that you have to grind for the most and for playmaking playmaking is a lot easier to get you guys can do that in the warehouse challenges just doing the unlimited warehouse badge challenge glitch which is, which is double progression and that's on my channel as well so yeah man once you get towards the end of the game all you guys want to do is just go ahead and let the game play out and just make sure you guys ball out like you can you can go for any badges that you want to go for i just went for shooting just because like i said i feel like that that's the most that's the hardest grind but you can go for any that you want so yeah man um once the game is over with you guys can just spam a through any cutscene that you might get and then it'll take you to the badge progression screen now from here what you guys want to do is just wait for your vc to load up so you guys will see you'll get your mod points and then you'll get your badge progression as well now once you guys get your batch progression you'll see your vc and then like i said once you guys uh get your vc all you guys want to do is just close out the application and then go ahead and reload the game back up so yeah man you guys see you'll also get your vc earned for each time that you do this so each time you do this glitch you'll get vc my points and batch progression on an extremely easy difficulty 
Like I said, the prelude high school games are like on rookie, so it's extremely easy to score, but you can go for any badges that you want. So yeah, man, um, after you get your VC, all you guys wanna do is just close out the application, and then you guys just wanna go ahead and reload the game back up. Now, once you guys reload the game back up, you guys will see that it will place you back at the high school point in your marker so you're able to play this game over and over again so yeah man um all you guys want to do is just wait for the game load to load up and if you want to continue doing the glitch on the same player then you guys just, just want to load up that player and it will place you back into uh, the high school game that you were previously in so yeah man i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to select on the player that i'm currently you know grinding for and then um you guys will see the most recent it's going to put you back at the high school game so yeah man once you guys click on this it'll uh, go ahead and load you back into this high school game and like i said you can do it in high school you can do it in the college games or whatever whichever one you want to do it in in my opinion like i said high school is probably the best just because the difficulty is so low i believe college is on rookie difficulty too so it might not even matter but i just chose high school just because like i said it's extremely easy so yeah, man, uh, once this game loads back up, like I said, all you guys wanna do is just go crazy and get as much badge progression as you possibly can. Now, um, go for your shooting. I'm telling you guys, if you go for your shooting in this, it's gonna make your, your grind a whole lot easier. But if you wanna go for a playmaking or finishing, you can do that as well. If you're going for, for playmaking, you just call for a screen and then uh, you guys just want to throw lobs. If you're going for finishing, then uh, you guys can use top left bumper to call for a back screen and then have the AI throw you a lob. Whenever you cut using the back screen, you guys can hit wah wah and they'll throw you a lob as well. But whenever I was doing this on my brand new player, I was just going for shooting just to make my grind a whole lot easier. So yeah, man, and then you guys can also check out the double warehouse challenge glitch as well. You guys are able to spam the warehouse challenges over and over again, and that gives you double batch progression, double mob points, and it's super fire as well. But it's kind of hard to get your shooting badges in the warehouse challenges just because, like I said, in order to get batch progression, you have to shoot consistent. So if you don't have your badges, especially if you go to the warehouse challenges, well, the difficulty is a little bit harder than it might be hard to shoot, you know, consistently, if that makes sense. So I use this glitch, like I said, and I just go for my shooting progression. So yeah, man, all you guys want to do is get to the end of the game and let the end of the game go ahead and run out. You guys can spam A through all of the cutscenes, and then you guys will see that you'll get your badge progression, my points, and all that once again. And then as soon as you guys see your VC, all you guys want to do is close out the application and then reload the game back up. Now just to show you guys, like I said, you can do this in any high school game. You guys see you have two high school games left. So I just wanted to show you guys um, the badges I was able to earn. So just by playing a few games that you guys just saw, I was able to unlock two shooting badges and then I got some playmaking as well, which is extremely good. Because if you go for your shooting and marker, I'm telling you guys, the, the ground to get your shooting badges takes forever. So yeah, man, thank y'all boys so much for all the support. Make sure y'all boys go crazy with this badge glitch. That's all I have on the day. Drop a like, drop a sub. I'm out. Peace.